On rare occasions, we get to witness moments of sheer genius. This is not one of those moments. <laughs> Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. I think it's the same thing as when you use the flat plane to describe how you would navigate on a globe. I, I don't use same, a flat plane to navigate on a globe. I don't use a flat That's, earth to navigate on a globe. Yeah, you, the celestial sphere model utilizes a flat plane that's a flat earth. Are you, are you saying that the celestial sphere right. uses a flat earth, so a flat surface, to navigate on a globe? What, what on earth do you mean by no, that? No, I'm, saying, with, like, I'm, saying, I'm saying the idea of a globe is a projection from the flat earth that you dwell on to the celestial sphere model. It's just a model. I'm, and I'm as it gets convinced. closer to the horizon, it doesn't correspond with reality. That's why they add this idea of refraction to it. Because I'm it convinced doesn't matter. you don't know what the, the celestial model. sphere model is. If I said right ascension and declination, would you be able to tell me what those mean? Ascension and uh, ascension would be up and down, declination is left to right, right? You're an idiot! Well, actually the opposite. If I gave you, so oh, right ascension, right. what's what's the analog to right ascension? Analog to right ascension? Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that would be, left declination? I don't know. No, no. the analog to know. right ascension is longitude. And the analog to declination is latitude. Okay, right. So what's the celestial sphere? And then you project right. those points that correlate on the ground, the flat plane, up to the celestial sphere, and that's your globe. How do you not so see you that? To... <laughs> I'll figure out what you're talking about in a minute. But you understand that the celestial sphere, like all the stars, are basically projected onto the the inside of the of the sphere, right? And it covers the entire sphere. No, no that is, the, that is what the celestial project... sphere is. That is what the celestial sphere is. It's right ascension and declination, right? So you have stars all inside this sphere. All the surface is covered with stars. And you are saying you chop it in half. Is that what I'm getting? No, the celestial sphere is angle measurements placed in a geometric model so that we can use it for navigation. The correlation between the arc angle measurements of those angles from a flat plane correspond to the celestial sphere. But as it gets closer to the horizon, those measurements don't match up as well. So they're adjusted. When you say because horizon, you like it atmos If it was atmospheric refraction, right? Then it would constantly be a shifting thing. But you have a set value at certain heights that you adjust for, do you not? When you say horizon in the celestial sphere model, you understand that there are stars all around the surface. All right. When you say horizon, it sounds like you're talking about a, an observer. And that's, that's a different, uh, a different well, sphere. See, that's the thing. In the celestial sphere model, you have the point where the angle is taken from, which is the ground in the celestial sphere model. And then no, you no, have the, the horizon. So the right ascension three, and declination is taken from the center. There are, no, you don't measure from the center of Earth. Are you in, you measure from the surface? The, the coordinates, right ascension and declination, are at the center. Yeah, where you stand. <laughs> it's not the center of Earth. Like, no, now, now you're talking about altitude and azimuth. So that's, that's a transformation of right ascension and declination. So you're, you're talking about your sort of observer's celestial sphere. Okay, so there's an observer's celestial sphere now. Okay, which has a horizon. Take yeah. a celestial sphere, and then put it on a sphere, and then put it inside a celestial sphere with the equatorial plane. This guy is fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's where you trans. About? It's where you translate the right ascension and declination into altitude and azimuth. And guess what? You have to use spherical geometry to do it. Right. This is not a trick question, John. This is a simple question that's covered in, in eighth that's grade the, geometry. 
is this <laughs> is this angle here something that can be measured if you use straight lines to measure each point from the point of intersection it's just a yes or no can you yes. measure the angle between you can the if, if we put, so if we put but tangents it, uh, angle inherently itself john, no john, just just a simple just yes or no that. is it possible to measure the angle between a these simple two yes or no to, to a malformed yeah. question that is not an angle no okay let, let me share my screen right, well, let me well john screen. john you this you failed that eighth is great geometry but uh, go ahead Ruben. No, 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 I didn't. Yeah. no i didn't no i didn't actually did i hear that you're a uh qualified engineer is that correct who i'm an epri certified instrumentation technician yes uh, does that require a engineering degree at all i have dual bachelors in mechanical and electrical engineering okay so with that i assume that you've done calculus is that true yes and okay. I'm telling so, you, you see what's those the grid first squares, thing you do in those calculus? Grid squares curved sir wow. are those grid squares curved what's the, the grid first thing curved? you do in calculus oh my gosh <laughs> yeah fake engineer calling it those grid squares you are not you did not curved. Calculus. Are you, not how possible. can you not get oh my not god possible. You can, can you share, make, share my screen the grid yeah, squares yeah, are not curved are you not getting that so like, you're what, talking what about plotting thing? a line <laughs> a curved line on i mean john you gave yourself away. Oh you gave yourself yeah. away john if you if you think you, you can't measure me. an angle to a curve then you gave yourself away you never took any you can you're mixing it you cannot <laughs> measure an angle from a curve are you insane so, hang on okay. share my screen share you're, my screen. you're yeah, mixing you're, to and from you, now are, you're mixing to and from did he really just say that People Look at the definition of angle. Are you insane? Okay. To and from. So, You're confusing. Can, can you see my screen, words. John? Can you see my uh, screen? No, I can't do this. I cannot do this anymore. You all you've are, done you calculus. You've done calculus. He's, he's, not, done he's, calculus, he's, not, really, if he's not done calculus. There's no chance. To a curve. He, he doesn't have an angle. From a curve are the same thing. And you know better. Oh, That's man. childish and inappropriate. I'm not going to do this with you anymore. Oh, yeah? Well, screw you guys, I'm going home. Are you exposed yourself, John? If you're asserting you can you get did an not angle take from a curved line, yeah. you are a liar. You can't, it you can't do be a straight geometry, line. John. Now, it can be a straight line to a curved surface, but you should know better, and you're lying to people. I think you're lying about having an engineering degree. Yeah, you don't have a degree. <laughs> you, would, you must have done calculus. You must have. If, if a bachelor's degree in engineering requires calculus. You did not take yeah. calculus, John. Right. So on screen, can I get an angle between these two curves? He he left. He left. Rage oh, quit. Oh, the... That's all, folks.